and tell me a little bit about your company and specifically this product. My company is called Parentis USA and our mission is to safeguard the lives of students and teachers. And we do this by providing products and services. The initial event that fueled our company's formation was the Sandy Hook primary tragedy. It represented a point at which I personally felt compelled to act. I saw images of their children, teachers, and parents, and I just knew that I had to do something. Uh, I've been a public school educator for years, and my kids attend the schools in my community. Uh, the terrible loss that, that community had to endure is a weight that no one should have to carry. Parents shouldn't have to bury their children, and educators shouldn't have to act as human shields uh, when protecting the lives of their students. The highest number of casualties associated with that tragedy occurred because the shooter gained access to his victims. I decided that that was the key to an effective solution. Uh, since then, I worked almost nightly uh, trying to refine my solution. And as we saw today in the live fire demonstration, I think that we've achieved it. The Parentis USA door shield will effectively defend students and teachers from a school shooter using handguns or assault weapons until meaningful help can arrive and the threat can be neutralized. It literally turns classrooms into safe rooms in seconds. Now our company name, Parentis, comes from the Latin phrase in loco parentis, or operating the place of a parent, uh, which is part of any teaching contract that I've ever signed. And that means that it is my duty to care for your child uh, with the same level of importance and consideration that I would give my own children. And as a parent and a teacher, I felt that the name was fitting uh, to convey to parents and colleagues that we're acutely aware of the group that we're trying to protect and that we take our commitment very seriously. The USA portion refers to the fact that we're providing uh, what we hope to be a national solution to what is a national problem. So you're saying this can either hinge or slide and I've seen this thing in person and it's yes. huge. You told me it weighs about 400 pounds. That's correct. How heavy is it to move that? Although the weight of the material on its own is quite heavy, we've remedied that challenge with a specialized hinge and rail system. Uh, and they only require a few pounds of pressure to produce movement. The hinge and the rail mounting systems allow the door shield to glide almost effortlessly into position over the top of the classroom entrance. And this produces a defensive barrier that can't be shot through with handguns or assault rifles and does not allow for forced entry. And when you look at the hinge solution, if this hand basically was the protective barrier, the US, Parentis USA door shield, it would glide over the top and then basically form the defensive barrier over the portal. Now, if it was a rail system solution, and that was the one that they elected to use, it slides in front of the doorway, and as soon as it does, it achieves the same effect. So, Patrick, tell me why this product and why now? Well, if I can answer your second question first, uh, the need is immediate. There have been school shootings taking place in the United States for decades, and since 1997, there have been over 200. Since the Sandy Hook primary tragedy, there have been several. Uh, children and teachers need an effective solution now. They can't afford to wait any longer. I propose the Parentis USA door shield as a solution because I believe it's the most complete ballistic defense solution on the market today. It works in conjunction with new or existing construction. And uh, this product will successfully defend against both handguns and assault rifle threats. Uh, so it's all inclusive. It's, it's composed of non-spalling and non-ricochet material, making it as safe as it can possibly be for the job it performs. And our competitors quite simply just don't afford this level of protection. And again, the people we're protecting are just too important. Uh, a ballistic threat demands a ballistic defense solution. 95% of school shooting victims are teachers and students who spend more than 80% of each day in the classroom. So our product, I believe, protects our vulnerable children and educators in the area where they are most throughout each school day. And so everyone's talked about maybe the solution of an arming teachers. What do you think about that? Well, I know that the Associated Press has asked the NEA and the ATF, the nation's two largest teaching unions, to weigh in on this proposal, and they both stated that they feel it to be inappropriate. Uh, the bottom line is that it introduces more guns and ammunition into the learning environment, which teachers and parents are very concerned about. Uh, this will result in an increased risk of accidental discharge in an environment that does not lend itself to this happening without serious consequences. And uh, it just stands to reason 
that if we are going to arm teachers, it will require a great deal of continuous training uh, that could prove to be very costly and uh, unsustainable. So another solution that is being talked about is the introduction of school resource officers. Increased police presence in schools also carries with it an annual cost. Um, the National Association of School Resource Officers advises that one armed guard would cost $80,000 per year, including salary, benefits, and equipment. Um, as part of President Obama's plan, he has called for the addition of 1,000 school resource officers, but that's nationally. Now, our public education system has over 16,000 districts. So, if we were to utilize this solution, it could prove to be very costly and quite possibly unsustainable as well. And then we've also heard some talk about changes in legislation possibly. What do you think about that? I think that people realize that to achieve consensus takes time. And it's time that we don't have, quite frankly. Uh, debate and restructuring of effective legislation can be a very lengthy process. Uh, the other thing to consider is that even if legislators work efficiently and they act, uh, it will not affect the number of now outlawed weapons and ammunition that are already in the public domain. So is there any part of the country where these school shootings happen more often? No. Incidents have occurred throughout every region in the United States, and unfortunately, they don't adhere to any particular demographic. So in a typical invasion, how much time do students and teachers have? Well, I think you're implying what everyone means in that situation who's waiting for help to arrive. When will the police arrive and when will the threat be neutralized? And according to the National Tactical Officers Association and the Department of Homeland Security, you have to be prepared mentally and physically to defend yourself from an active shooter for 10 to 15 minutes before law enforcement enters your building to neutralize a threat. This represents the national average response time for these, these types of situations. Um, during that 10 to 15 minutes, they've advised that you either run, hide, or fight. Now, each of these options are to be done without ballistic protection. Uh, we take classrooms, places where um, historically the highest numbers of casualties have occurred, and make them into safe rooms in seconds. I believe that our product provides a more favorable alternative that will save students and educators. So we've talked about the other options out there. Why is this one the best solution? Because it effectively protects teachers and students in the place where they need it most. And I know I keep saying this, but it is where they spend the greatest percentage of their time daily and it defends against handgun and assault rifle threats. And most importantly, the ballistic defense material in our products is good for the life of the construction. These systems can be mounted in new or existing classrooms. Um, our solutions also qualify as bricks and mortars improvement, uh, meaning that they are eligible for school districts to purchase through bond issue procurement, uh, which means uh, no tax increase for voters. Uh, they can put it through, normally it runs on a 12-year cycle, uh, and it gets paid back much like a home loan. Uh, finally, I think that this is a solution that everyone can get behind. Uh, we achieve a defense of those who need it most while preserving the public's constitutional rights and meeting parent and teacher requests not to introduce more guns and ammunition into the learning environment. I think everybody wins. So where is this actually manufactured? It's 100% made in the USA, which is wonderful. So this is an American solution to an American problem. That's correct. Yes, it is. So tell me, how can people who are interested in the door shield or want to learn more about Prentice USA can contact you? We have two options. You can contact Prentice USA by phone at 636-561-4950, extension 5131, or you can visit us on the World Wide Web at www.parentisusa. That's spelled P-A-R-E-N-T-I-S-U-S-A dot com. Uh, and once you're there, uh, you'll find an email link for forwarding uh, your request to us. And that is info 
at ParentisUSA.com. Patrick, thank you so much for introducing us to this amazing new product. I find it very exciting. Thank you very much for your time. Appreciate it.